Welcome to Happy Hours. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit about prayer, and I don't think we can get enough of these teachings out, but in the Epistle to James, it's a powerful scripture in chapter 5. It says, For the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. If you read it from the from Greek, it says that the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous or of God's people keeps on availing. So we can pray about something and don't have to really dwell on it because that prayer continues to work. I know for a fact that I'm standing alive and well after all of the sicknesses and things that I had to deal with, particularly this last bout with COVID-19, even though mine was shorter than most, it scared me. But it, it, pressures and difficulties and sickness will push you back on your knees to talk to the Lord. I want to have a testimony that that man knew how to talk with the Lord, talk to the Lord. So we, we are making prayer a very important, uh, we, have, we made prayer a very important activity of our church. We have prayer. I'm on the prayer line every morning, Monday through Friday at, five of, at 540. I get on about six o'clock and pray with the saints and it's a wonderful time. And uh, then on Thursdays, as you know, we have Turnaround Thursday prayer and I pray for an hour from seven to eight as an intercessor for you, as someone that's standing in the gap for you. Uh, how's your prayer life? Uh, we're supposed to talk to the Lord on a regular basis. And Jesus, uh, the disciple that asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. The reply was, pray after this manner. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now that wasn't the prayer that Jesus prayed. That was his model prayer for to start us for praying for everything in the kingdom. When Jesus prayed, you're in John chapter 17 where he says, Lord make us one as you and the Father are one. I had a, a slogan back then when we recorded uh, on one of the projects. It was called Tambo, T-A-M-B-O, that all may be one. you got a whole lot to pray about, and God wants to hear from you to answer your prayer. So the hymnologist took his pen and said, What a friend we have in Jesus, all of our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, and oh, what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Pray for yourselves, pray for your family, pray for your church, pray for your pastor, pray for the kingdom and pray for people all across the world because prayer works. And I'm glad somebody prayed for me and had me on their mind when I wasn't thinking about it. They took the time to pray for me and I'm so glad that they prayed. We sang that. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. Prayer has to be the priority with all of the challenges that we're dealing with, with this COVID-19, with this Black Lives Matter movement, with the protests, with the racist uh, policemen shooting up black and, black and brown kids, and then you got us shooting up one another in our communities. At some point, we have to focus back in and pray. It's in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, when he gives us a remedy to all of the things that we're dealing with. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face, you gotta seek his face and not his hand, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sins, and I'll heal their land. Keep praying. One of the songs I want to, uh, for one of our first CDs is Don't Stop Praying. And so, you and I, us and we, should be known as a people of prayer. Pray for somebody else today because somebody else is praying for you. I am. I'm praying for every person that receives this happy hour devotional that God would turn things around in their favor. That's it. I'm Bishop Larry D. Trotter, pastor of the Sweet Holy Spirit Church. I, I've been pastoring almost 39 years. I had to have some prayer to deal with 39 years of pastoring, 45 years of preaching. And I'm glad that we have a great church, but we take time 
to pray for one another. Meet us when you get a chance, 8621 South on South Chicago Avenue, where the table is spread and the Feast of the Lord is going on. Or you can call the church for the order of services because time and things change in this season. You dial 773-768-HOLY or 773-768-HOLY spells out 4659. Even if you want prayer today, call 773-768-4659. And if nobody is there, leave the message and we'll get back to you because we know that prayer works. God bless you.